So we're out here in front of the Edwards Theaters in Mira Mesa right now and what we're going to be doing is asking some people some questions about what they think concerning the end of the world or 2012 and is there life after death. Yo, it's Andre Smith, San Diego Bible Church and Edward Cinemas. We're about to go ask people about the end of the world. All right, my name is Leo Garcia, youth pastor at Calvary Chapel Mira Mesa and we're here at Edward Cinema in Mira Mesa and we're just going to be asking people about 2012. People think the world is going to end and the question is, are you prepared to meet your creator? This is Jaira from Pacific Lighthouse and we're excited for this. You've heard about this whole end of the world thing, 2012. Yes. Do you think that it's going to happen? No. <laughs> okay, what do you think about that? Do you think it's going to happen? No. NASA's completely debunked it. It's no, debunked. No world ending. The planet's not going to crash into another planet. There's nothing to do with solar flares. It's completely debunked. <laughs> you say the world's going to end. What do you think? I think so. You think so? I think it's going to be fine. I think it's going to be just like 1999. Party like it's 1999. I remember when it's supposed to turn to millennium and everything's supposed to shut down? I don't think that's gonna happen. I think it's just gonna be another year like every other year. So you need to make the best of it. Nah, it's not gonna happen. And the day after people think it's gonna happen, I'm just gonna rub it in everyone's faces that believe it. Ever since the world began, it's been ending pretty much. That is true. It never ends. Maybe, I mean, maybe it will. But even if it's gonna, what are we supposed to worry about it? Maybe some things have happened. I believe there's definitely gonna be a shift. I believe it's gonna be energetic more than, than physical. Uh, it's definitely, I think, going to be the end of an era. The Maya calendar uh, ending could be just that the Mayas chose to leave. Definitely. But it'll be interesting to see because I think a lot of people are going to, you know, there's going to be a lot of parties and there's going to be a lot of end of the world parties and stuff like that. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how people react because a lot of people do take it seriously. So. Yeah. Do you think that that's going to happen? No. The world's going to end. Do you think it's going to happen? No. It's not going to happen. Definitely not. It could. You never know. I just feel like any day you can go, so I don't really worry about it. Okay, yeah. for sure. Any so, day could be your day, so. I think that, uh, biblically speaking, the world is yeah. going to come to an end uh, according to scriptures. And the Bible says no man will know, and I don't think it's based on a Mayan calendar. They got tired of putting down the calendar, <laughs> and they figured by this time, if we don't know how to keep track of our own calendar, then there's something wrong with us. You know, after this life, after I die, I'm just going to rot in the ground. So like, on a scale of 1 to 10, it's kind of like personal, but on a scale of 1 to 10, like if you were to pass away, like 0 being hell, 10 being heaven, like where do you think you would go at this point right now? Probably like 6 going to heaven. <laughs> 6 going to heaven? 6 going to heaven. It could be possible many worlds. You said many worlds? Could be many worlds. Like as far as uh, you know, it's like uh, <clears throat> uh, there's many species, correct? Yes, sir. Why wouldn't there be many worlds? What do you think happens after that? I don't know. Basically, everything's gone. Everything's gone. That's it. Yeah. It's just after that, it's either hell or heaven. Hell or heaven? Yeah. Okay, so you believe in heaven or hell? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what about you in particular? Do you think you would end up in heaven or hell? Uh, hopefully heaven. Hopefully heaven? Yeah. Do you know what it takes to get into heaven? Uh, being a good person. Live life, and if it ends, it ends. If I die, I'm going to heaven. So. Why, why do you say that? If that's what I believe. What get? How do you get to heaven? Why, why are you so sure that you're going to heaven? Uh, because the Bible says if you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you'll go to heaven. And I do. And I did. So. Do you know if you're going to go to heaven or not? Um, that's, I guess I do in a way, but I mean, I don't follow the religious steps. Yeah. What, what religious steps are you talking about? Like, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't follow Christianity. I don't follow should just not be worried and live your life like it's going to end anyway. That's a good way to look at it. Enjoy mm -hmm. this year. That's what I'm thinking. That's cool. what I'm going to do now that we just talked about Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to live forever. And you need to know where you're going. You Absolutely. Need so you believe that there's like a heaven and a hell, correct? I believe there's a heaven and a hell. And okay. There's a, uh, Christ who uh, died for us. And um, we need to reach out and we need to be our savior. I think something might happen, actually. I think there's going to be some kind of a spiritual shift. You should be uh, a good person, and I think you should 
be aware, I think that we're all striving to go to the same place, and I'm not going to condemn one religion against another. You know, what What makes you feel that you're going to heaven on a 10 again? Well, because even like, like growing up, I, always, I was always told like, you go to heaven by allowing God in, in, into your life and like accepting Him as your Lord and Savior. So yeah. it's like, and I've done that and appreciated it over and over. And now it's like, I'm confident enough that whatever happens with 2012, like that's exactly where I'm going. For sure. There's a lot of hypotheses. There's a lot of theories. You know, I'm not saying anyone's theory is wrong or anyone's uh, hypothesis is wrong. Others have different beliefs. You know, if we could communicate with the animals, what are the animals' beliefs? You know, seeing what we do to our environment, we change the environment. They have to; adapt. they're adapting to it. Well, you know, if someone came in and changed my environment, and I had to adapt to their ways, I think I'd be a little angry with that. Definitely. And why would someone say, "Oh, if you look at a woman, it's a lust and it's a sin"? Well, why doesn't it say in that book that if a woman looks at a man, that it's lust, that it's a sin? See, there's something wrong in that book. He was hunted down and persecuted and crucified because he was born out of wedlock. You said you said the word, um, meaning like the Bible or whatever it is that you believe in. So if it's okay. the Quran or the Bible or whatever it is that you believe in, if you're living only by that word, then Definitely. obviously you have no choice but to go in the right direction. But right now, we all struggle. I know I am. Yeah. I think I fell away from church because I saw I saw it as too much of a practice, you know. Like, exactly. Yeah. It's religion. And then it's like yeah. it was. It became more of a religious activity. Yeah, exactly. I can't really talk to anyone about Jesus because like, when people usually talk to me, they usually came from a church perspective, you know? Yeah. And they're like, if you don't go to church, you don't go to church. So that's why like, I just shied away from talking about any of that stuff, you know? You know, the fact of the matter is we none of us know how long we're going to be here, so you need to always be prepared. And, uh, and that means read your Bible every day. That means, you know, be prepared. And if you just don't know. Yeah.